Thank you very much. Uh, so now we have moved on to the MIT integration because fine exams are 14. And uh, this is problem number one, which is the definite integral from x equals to 1 to x equals to e of uh, the natural logarithm of x squared. So let's see how we may be able to solve this problem. So <clears throat> integral from x equals to 1 to x equals to e of the natural logarithm of x uh, squared. It's an interesting problem. Um, one thing we may be able to use is the rules of logarithm. If you have log of at the power b, that's the same as b um, log a, right? Um, so using this, our integral is the same as um, the integral from x equals to 1 to x equals to e of 2 natural logarithm of x, right? Um, and one thing we can now do is pull the two out and then um, do something like that. So the hidden one there is the same as the derivative. There's a hidden one here, uh, hidden one here, which is the derivative of uh, x. So what we're setting ourselves here is to use what we call integration by parts. So if you have an integral of a product of u and uh, the derivative of v, uh, after you integrate that, you get uh, the product of u and v function, v, u and v, minus the integral of the product of v, function v, and the derivative of u. So that is such that our problem with this being dv and this being u means that we have uv being x, natural logarithm of x, we have two here, so this is uv, one e minus two, uh, v is going to be x, the derivative of natural logarithm of x is one over x from one to e, okay? So our problem now becomes twice x natural logarithm of x 1 to e minus the integral of 1. Okay, so let's spread this out a little bit. So 2 limit as x tends to e of x natural logarithm of x minus limit as x tends to 1 of x natural logarithm of x minus when we integrate this we get x twice x 1 to e now as x tends to e log of e is 1 and so we get e minus log of 1 is 0 so this is 0 minus 2 uh, x tending to, so we can just set a limit as x tends to e of x minus limit x tends to 1 of x, right? So this is 2e minus uh, 2, this is e, um, this is 1, so minus 1, okay? So this becomes 2e minus 2e plus 2 cancel. Therefore, the integral from x equals to e, 1 to x equals to e of the natural logarithm of x squared equals to 2. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our answer. <coughs>